back out again, but with a twist. We were going to camp um, up in the hills, but when we got to uh, where we were going to park, it was just ridiculous, absolutely crazy. Sometimes you've got to know when to call it, and there's no way we're pitching up in this. Just been speaking to Chris from MCM Outdoors. He's uh, He's had a bent pole on a black label solo. They were up there. And his mate, Tony's tent, got ripped. It was a scarp one. That got ripped in the wind. Just the gusts, the gusts are just so unpredictable. They're coming from everywhere. So when it's like that, it's not worth it. So what we're gonna do is, is me and Rob, he's uh, we're gonna car camp. We're just gonna pitch here. We're just gonna park here for the night, the hell with it. So what I've got to show you is, while I'm on, might as well do this. It's this sleeping bag. Had this out last week at the Bothy. Couldn't really tell in the Bothy because the fire being on and that. But it's one of them, uh, the claim it's good for minus 40 degrees won't be minus 40 so it feels good i mean this is a 20 denier nylon outer which is meant to be waterproof I've seen pictures and in the snow so apparently you can just camp in that you can just sleep in that in the snow no need for a bivy bag the thing i like about it is the zip that zip just comes all the way around there like a j zip it's filled with aerogel sort of synthetic filling it's lofting up quite quite nice there actually and I had it in the bothy last week but we had a fire on and I was toasty warm but obviously with the fire being on but in the morning when the fire was off it was cold I come out of it and it was cold you could feel the difference I'm gonna try tonight in the car because you know in the car can get cold and we'll see what it's like there is a few downsides to it I mean it is big and bulky there you go, you got this little thermo thermometer here, thermo system, I don't know what that's all about to be fair. It is big and bulky, it's 1800 grams. It's nice and there. Uh, it's comfortable inside, I mean this is really quite a deep pile. So we're going to that, let that loft up, even though it's synthetic it does loft up a bit. It's very narrow though, I find it very tight but Big Lou, who produce it, say that that's how it should be because if it's tight, it keeps the heat in. That's the whole thing of it. I'm not sure about the zip as well. I can get the zip to about here and then I struggle. So we'll try and sort that. Maybe I was just doing it wrong. We'll try and sort that later. But yeah, I mean, it feels lovely. And from last week, it was nice and warm. So we'll see, we'll see. So, oh, my conclusions are, this is a lovely warm bag this mind. I'll give them that. I'm literally roasting here, all I've got on is a t-shirt. Oh, if I come out it's cold. So it's nice and warm. It's got, oh, I don't know. It turns when you turn as well, you know, one of them, but don't all bags do that. The other bag does that turns when I turn. I'm actually toasty warm in here. Um, the downsides are the size of it, it's bulky to pack, but again, you've seen it in me, um, you've seen it in my backpack. That it was, it's just the same as what it normally packed in the other bag. So I've got it stuffed in. That's about. I'd say that that sits about that much higher than what the down bag would. So it is taking up a bit more room. But it's in and it's it's light enough. I can push it down a bit more. All I put in now on top of that is my down jacket and um, my food. 
and the beer the beer just goes the beer goes in amongst it so I can push the cans in so it does take up a lot more room but it's still manageable I just keep the big main compartment of this bag for uh, my sleeping bag down jacket and my food and my beer and that's it everything else goes in the bottom pocket and the top uh, it's not a lightweight backpacking sleeping bag but do you like, do you, do you pack lightweight when you go camping? I'd like to try it out in the snow, but we just didn't get any, we didn't get anywhere near the hills. The weather was just too wild, too windy. So I mean, in, in the car, if I come out, it's freezing. You know what it's like in a car, it's cold. I feel how cold it is on the outside. I said, well, it's all right, it's nice. It's just the size of it. Oh, 1800 grams. I don't know how heavy my other bag is. But I'll use this again. I'll use it on the next camp. And we'll see how it performs. But um, my overall thoughts are it's good. It's good at its downsides. I mean, the zip took us ages to get it zipped up. But as you can see, I did get it zipped up. I mean, it. You know what I mean? It's tight, but it doesn't feel, um, I don't feel sort of constricted or anything restricted like that. So that's all right. Well, it's all right. I would say it's more like um, a car camping bag <laughs> in the car. But I would like to, I would like to try it out in the um, in the snow, like the, like the show on the adverts. So they they show you a picture of the sleeping bag, and somebody's in a, in a big snow pit. They've dug a pit out for it. And they reckon it's waterproof waterproof enough to to do that. So it might be all right. Oh, it might be all right for summer. Like instead of a bivy bag, just take this. You might get away with it. I might try that. You'll, we'll see what it's like. But yeah, it's all right. Ah, oh, see when I come out. It's freezing. We've got this this draw cord here. Can cinch it right up. Oh. It's cozy, man. I don't want to get out. <laughs> it's lovely and warm. I'll give them I'll give them points for this being so warm. Oh go back to sleep. <laughs> the foot box here. I mean, look at there's a lot of space in there. Really cozy. It's lovely and warm in there. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a bit of space in there. So. And the, the tight fit is okay once you're in. You get zipped in. It's lovely and warm. I had this. I had an hour sleep there, I had the, um, the tailgate open. It's windy. I feel cold to the touch, but in there, it's toasty warm. It's quite good, like, it's just a shame it's so big and bulky, but like I say, it goes in, the, um, goes in my backpack. So I don't know, I'll, I'll probably use it on the next camp, if we can get out. Got some hanging loops there for when you hang it up to dry. I'm going to hang it up in the wardrobe on a coat hanger. There's a nail on the two. Feels nice. It's inside. It's nice. nice and cozy. Look at all that space in there. You don't feel restricted in it. 
nice view. Anyway, yeah, so I'll put the links in the description for this. It's a Kickstarter campaign. It's a new new product. I don't know the price of it, to be fair. I think they're going to be quite reasonable. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Nice. Big glue. Big glue aerogel sleeping bag. Nice product. So, I'm back in the house and I'm going to draw my conclusions. I mean, this is quite, it, it is quite long. This is my feet. Alright, so, I basically think it is warm enough. I mean, I was roasting in that car. Um, but it has got its negative pros and cons, right? Pros are it is really warm. If you can get it zipped up, it's very warm. One of the cons is the zip. I'm not happy about the zip. It should have like a, you know, in the other bags where they've got this anti-snag. Um, it's like a bit of hard material which runs along the zip, so it doesn't it doesn't snag. I mean, it, it works. See, so just kept get, getting caught. And when it's cold, and you just want to get in, you can do that one. Pain. It's small at the top end here. So I think if it was a little bit wider, it would be better. Yeah, that's it. I don't like that too. I need to work on an anti-snag baffle thing where uh, speaking of baffles it hasn't got a shoulder baffle it's got the hood though <laughs> it's got the hood when you get in it I'm absolutely rusted out now <laughs> I'm sweating things you do for videos yeah, but I was in it the other night, I had it zipped up and it was nice, it was lovely and comfortable, like I didn't want to get out to be fair. So, for a backpacking sleeping bag, I don't think so, unless you're willing to stuff it in the bag like I showed and carry it. I mean you can use it backpacking, I have done, I did it in the bothy. It's lovely inside, really comfortable inside. Um, the pack size is huge though. So like like I showed, if you shoved it in the bag, that took up half the space of the bag. And the, um, the down bag, I can push that in a bit more. So, you know, I, I still got everything in the bag. So really, it didn't bother us the pack size. But a lot of people are not gonna like that. So for car camping, Camping on a site, I think it's ideal, lovely, nice and nice and warm for a winter camp on a, on a campsite or in the car or in a camper van or whatever you're in. And um, as far as lightweight back, back backpacking goes, it's not gonna it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. But you know. These are early days, they say that this is just a prototype, they're just looking, they're putting the feelers out, it's a Kickstarter campaign for the bag to see what people think of it, and I think the feedback could, uh, you know, it could bring, it could produce quite a good bag, because the material's great, it's waterproof, the outside is waterproof, you can sleep outside in this, you don't need a bivy bag, I've seen the pictures on the internet with the, the um, people lying in the snow in the bag, I was going to try that, but the snow has vanished, it's turned to rain. But all in all, would I recommend it? Only if you don't mind the pack size. 1800 grams is a little bit heavy for a lot of people. Um, and it's tight. If you're small, you'll probably be alright in it. The width of the shoulders are not widened for me. I don't, I don't, my shoulders aren't that big. 
but this top bit here you feel very restricted when you're in it but again they say that that's how it should be because it keeps all the warmth to you if it's tight on you it keeps the warmth in but i'm not sure i agree with that i like to move around in my bag so we can have a look at some more of the reviews andrew park did one Novice Wild Camper did them. They didn't seem too keen on the bags. Um, I wouldn't say I'm not keen on it. I just think it's an acquired taste. Personally, I will use it on my next camp. Because I want to see how good it is in the cold, in the actual cold, to see if it's better than the down bag I've got. And I'll come back about that. I will use it on another camp though. And we'll see how we'll get on. So there you go. The links will be in the description. I have no idea the price, but it's, it's probably all there in the description and the links, whatever. So have a look. Right, that's it.